hi guys welcome to my channel this is your first time on my channel my name is Naye. do not forget to subscribe and thank you for watching this video because you're going to be part of our family soon and to my returning subscribers thank you guys for always being there thank you guys i see your questions i see your love thank you all so so i'm going to be talking about why people don't shop online yes i feel like i can talk about this because i've been a customer and i've also been a vendor so i have both experience so if you don't know if it's your first time i'm a trip vendor that sells in lagos i have a trip page i have been selling for like where well, three years or so i think i should have experience and i feel like most of the things i've said online here most of the things i've said on my youtube channel i've helped a lot of true vendors because i see them coming to my dm to tell me how it has helped them in guiding them and all that so anyway enough praising myself so jumping into today's video i'm going to be talking about reasons why some people don't shop online the thing is there are so many reasons but i just picked out these few reasons to talk about because if i talk about everything it's going to be too long so i'm just going to be talking about the few things so first i'm going to be starting with a size the thing is shopping online is one of the most difficult thing if you see um other brands or these big brands they try as much as possible to incorporate sizing to whatever they are selling the ways the hips the boss the length they incorporate it and i see most um trip vending store or most online store all they do is they just put size 12 they'll just put size 10 like you're not even stating if it's a uk size 12 or uk size 10 and again most people don't know their body sizes in nigeria you know we don't do all this size 10 size 12 we don't do all these things i started doing it in my brand when i started i started with this whole size 12 thing but what helped me is when i put in size 12 i go as far as i take the measurement of the waist and the hips it gives us it gives the the customer the buying customer the idea of okay this is my size because Almost all of us go to tailors, so we know our measurement, or we have people that we can ask. I beg, you ask your tailor what's my measurement. So, incorporating size to whatever you're selling online is one of the best things you would ever do to yourself as a vendor that sells online, that sells wears, clothes, that sells anything clothes online. Incorporating size, and I don't mean you just throwing in size 10, size 12. If it's something that you have to measure, you have to measure it, like when it comes to something below measuring the waist and the hips is something very important and you have to do it you just have to do it because that's the only way your customers can ensure that they are buying their right side because a lot of people have bought things online that are not their measurements e.g me i have bought a lot of things that are not my measurement due to the fact that the vendor doesn't even know what they are doing because some of them too when they are selling tops since the fact that the top is stretchy automatically they will ignore the size on the tag some clothes come with already made tag put what is there because it is stretchy doesn't mean it can size that person no put the size you see there i used to tell people a lot but vendors don't used to yeah but sure size is very important learn to put size in the correct sizing if you're going to be using uk size put uk size 10 if you're going to be using uk size um us size put because us sizing is different from uk sizing both sizings are different so you should put it and i will advise you to go as far as measuring the waist and the hips if you're doing anything that has to do with below like trousers, skirt short Go as far as putting the hips and waist measurements. I will not lie to you. It has helped me a lot. And do it. It's really, it's really, really helpful. Again, I think this goes to people that do all this pre-order. What you see is what you get. Why you don't have a lot of sales is, first of all, a lot of people have spoiled this pre-order thing when it comes to clothes. People rather pre-order shoes or all these um, aesthetic things like storage space and all this thing than clothes. Because we know what is what you see, what you get when it comes to pre-order. Because... In Nigeria, people want to see what they are buying. I will not buy an item, and I'm telling you from my own experience as a trip vendor or as a vendor, I will not buy an item seen on an American model without seeing the actual picture of you selling it. Like, I, I want to see the actual picture of the item on your own display board, snapping it. That's how I will know the quality of what I'm buying. A lot of people have done pre-order and end up getting Abba made or Yaba made. That's what is happening. Most of these people that do pre-order, they go online and take pictures that they feel like, okay, it can be sewn in Yaba. And my anger is, you don't even use the exact quality. You just sew something that is close to it and you assume. So, if you want to make sales, Post pictures of what you actually have. Even if you're doing pre-order, even if you're doing all this pre-order clinical clinical, I would advise you to make sure you sew the actual things. Even if you don't sew in bulk, 
you can sew one time sewing and make numerous videos of it to showcase the actual quality and actual design you have coupling with the picture i have a thrift page i sell thrifted things when i go to the market to buy jeans sometimes i buy branded jeans that are still in this modern day thrifts can go as far as back as 1960 and all that so i get things that in this era like pretty little things like asos like all this recent brand so it gives me the opportunity to i have the item and i can source for the picture to show you what it look like on a model so if you're doing that kind of thing as pre-order in resell make sure you sew the actual thing or have the actual thing snap the actual thing that you have then put a picture of what it will look like instead of you just doing what you want to do like doing what is in your mind because i feel like what you're doing is in your mind and you know what you are doing is wrong Again, there's something that people don't understand, customer interaction. You don't need to go to school to learn this one. How you interact with your customer determines how your business is going to. I don't see, there's a difference between customer and friends. I tell people, I make my customers understand, you are my customer, you're not my friend. Because if you're my friend, you will want to cheat me. That is what they do. When your customers become too close to you, they end up wanting to cheat you. You having this say of, ah, you know where I be, you know it's our... It's not like that because you, you, you don't get that same favor from the market where you buy from. You pay for everything you buy. So, interaction with your customer. It's important to interact with your customer. But make them know that I am friendly, but we are not friends. We are doing a business uh, transaction. Because when you start sending emojis to your customers, you start sending stickers to your customers, you, you, you've broken the boundary between customer and vendor and friend. So, I will advise anybody I know, this barrier between your customer and your friend make your customers know that your customers but i'm a friendly vendor it's different from you're my friend you'll come they laugh mm, mm, laugh or oh, this at the end of the day they will tell you yeah, give me this one for free now yeah give me this one for this card you too because you've already fallen yourself into that trap you go by yourself and give it for free and you are at a loss there is no i'm not saying that you shouldn't do discounts for your customers but limit it Know the way you interact with your customers and not the way you interact with your friends. Let them understand that you're my customer. Now, business will they do this is where I eat from. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And try as much as possible to interact with your page, with your account. Like, because you're not posting today doesn't mean you will not post other things that relate to your business. You can post funny things on your page. So, anyway, <clears throat> to me, next time I'm going to talk about is delivery. See, I will not lie. I have seen Shaggy when it comes to delivery. And delivery is one thing that has ruined a lot of people's business. So, I will not lie to you. If See, to me, to people in Lagos, the best delivery so far I will recommend is TBC and Logistics. I'm not trying to do an ad for the, the delivery company, but I am telling you, it is the best delivery company so far. They deliver on time, they call your customer, like, and they are very affordable. I am not going to lie to you. Me, I've tried so many things. So, coming here to come and lie to you is like, it's like, what, what will I gain? You know, I'm good at giving out, like, me, I know the gates keep. I had to detect all that thing. I had to know the gates keep. Anyway, to me, TBC and Logistics, I'm going to put in their Instagram handle, their number. You can reach them on Instagram, reach them on WhatsApp. But anybody in Lagos that needs a logistic company to run your deliveries as a business person, as a normal person, TBC and Logistics. Like, for my side deliveries, I use um, GIG. I know a lot of people say it's expensive, but to me, it's one of the best because you can track your item and if anything happens, they will pay you back. That's why I use them. So, GIG is for me. Oh, the for interstate is TPC and logistics. So logistics you use, delivery you use will help your business grow. It is really important for you to have the right delivery. Like I said, I will link up my own Lego delivery for you so you guys can use and it to help you guys too. So finally, um, it's your page. I'm going to talk about your page. Most people's page are not attractive. They don't pull you. They don't pull customers in. And there's so many I don't care attitude when it comes to people's page. They don't know how to run it. They don't know how to arrange it. They don't know how to make it look appealing. So, Ah, so I will advise you work on your page, the way your page looks, the way you arrange your pictures, the way the whole bio thing and everything looks. You need to work on that. So this is where I end the video. So I don't know if I will do a part two to talk about more things to help you guys grow. But anyway, thank you guys for watching up until this level. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment anything you want to comment. If you want a part two, please comment down below. Thank you guys. Bye.